This is breaking news. Turn of the Silver Fox, American Idol winner, Broadway actor, TV show host Taylor Hicks prepares to release first album in 15 years. Even when Taylor Hicks was a teenager in Hoover in the 1990s, music was a big part of his life. Former classmates from Hoover High remember him as an outgoing guy who was always singing in the basketball locker room or playing his harmonica. People who worked in the guidance counselor's office recall him saying that his main goal was to be in a band one day. Kurt Posey, who now serves on the Hoover City Council, was in the same graduating class as Hicks, the class of 1995 and the first to graduate from Hoover High, and remembers Hicks being voted the most talented of the 432 seniors. He was very talented and played the harmonica and sang, Posey said. I never really saw him perform like he did later, on American Idol. When you're in high school, you don't really get to see that side of a person at school. But Hicks, who became famous after winning the fifth season of the American Idol TV show in 2006, confirmed that music was in his blood from an early age. He remembers sneaking into a nearby sports bar after high school basketball games to hear music. Even then, he had enough premature gray hair to blend into the crowd, despite being underage, he said. I knew music was going to be a part of what I'd do, Hicks said. I didn't know to what level. Third album, Hicks, who is scheduled to perform in concert at the Wright Center at Sanford University on April 19 as a benefit for Alabama Game Changers, now is preparing to release his third album since American Idol. It will be his first full album release in 15 years. He has been working on it for about 10 years, he said. In 2017, Hicks put out a single called Six Strings and Diamond Rings, and then in 2021, he performed a song called Porch Swing in the romantic comedy Stars Fell on Alabama, playing himself in the movie. He officially released Porch Swing in February of last year and followed it up with another song, Teach Me to Dance, in June, in conjunction with Father's Day weekend and his debut appearance at the Grand Ole Opry. Porch Swing was co-written by Runaway June's Jennifer Wayne and Jason Deere, who has written songs for Little Big Town, Lady A and Leon Rhymes, and was recorded at Zach Brown's Southern Ground Studio in Nashville. The ballad marries the sounds of country and soul and expounds on the idea of John Anderson's swingin', Hicks said. The porch swing is an iconic part of American life, from lazy evenings to first kisses, he said. A lot of things go on on a porch swing. Teach Me to Dance, written by Victoria Shaw and Candy Parton, is described by Hicks as the perfect wedding song. It can be either a first dance song or father-daughter dance song because it's universal and can be looked at from a father-daughter perspective or a romantic couple perspective, he said. The song had been on hold for a Garth Brooks album, but Hicks found it and was able to snatch it up, he said. He hopes to have his full album ready for release by late spring or summer and has been trying to get all the ducks in a row from a marketing perspective, he said. In the meantime, he released his own version of Jingle Bells in October and said he might want to do a Christmas album sometime soon as well. Post. Idol success. Hicks has been a busy man since winning American Idol 18 years ago, soon after beating out Catherine Fee, Chris Daughtry, and Kelly Pickler in that season of the show. He was named the hottest bachelor of 2006 by People magazine. The debut single on his first album release after the show, Do I Make You Proud, debuted in the know, one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 and later was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. The album debuted in at no. Two on the Billboard 200 chart and later was certified as a platinum album. Hicks landed a book deal with Random House for a memoir that came out in 2007, and in 2008 he joined the cast of the Broadway musical Grease to play the role of Teen Angel, continuing in the role for a national tour. In 2009, Hicks released his second post-idol album called The Distance, on his own label, Modern Womp Records, and the first single, What's Right is Right, made it to No. 24 on the hot adult contemporary tracks. In 2012, Hicks steered his Soul Patrol ship in a different direction, becoming the first American Idol alumnus to land a long-term gig in Las Vegas. He started out at the Bally's Las Vegas Hotel and Casino in June 2012 and shifted to the Paris Las Vegas Hotel and Casino in January 2013 as part of a deal that allowed him to sing at other Caesars properties across the country the same year. In 2019, Hicks stepped back onto the stage at the Serenity Playhouse just outside Atlanta, taking on the lead role of Charlie Anderson in Shenandoah.